Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers, especially no, sa ating uh, Asian viewers like yung Taiwan, Singapore, and also yung South Korea who has been steadily increasing and of course yung ating Middle East and the Philippines. Alright, this is PSEI recap and this is for February 4, 2019 and uh, market is uh, gaining no? momentum and traction and we are seeing very very good uh, movement no in rotation of stocks and this might be an indication of something uh, we could expect sa ating market no maganda yung 2019 and we're trying to assess no and we're trying to anticipate kung saan tayo dadalin ng market right but before we do all that uh let me have to you no a very very timely message a quick word from our sponsor. This is from Genesis 3 verse 4. Right. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Right. Ngayon, papano ba natin ito may relate Alright. So, you all know what, how the story went on. Right. And, uh, sa ating panahon ngayon, in our present times uh, papano ba natin ito may relate right uh, I think uh, ang mga uso ngayon no? with all of the social media no? and all of the teachings no? na nangyayari ngayon I hope that you are well aware no? na yung isa sa mga uso ngayon is yung law of attraction Alright. Ano ba yung law of attraction? Law of attraction, kung ano daw yung bagay na iniisip mo nang iniisip, eventually, yun yung mangyayari. Alright. Meron pa yan yung mga vision board where ipipaste mo yung kotse, yung bahay na gusto mo. right? Or minsan tao pa. right? So, is this biblical or not? So, I hate to break it to you, but I have to tell you the truth. That is not. No? And, uh, Ano ba yung mali doon sa, sa, sa idea na yun, sa mga turo na yun, right? Idea kasi doon is you are replacing God, no? You are replacing it by yourself, no? Sa'yo nang gagaling na lahat, right? So, lahat ng mga pangangailangan mo, iniisip mo na lang, right? And then, parang uh, universe na, it was universe na yung tinitink mo, eh tsaka yung isip mo daw yung nagkikreate ng reality. That is not true. Right? So, paano ko nalaman yan? Matagal din na proseso and finally, it was revealed also to me and uh, nalaman ko na hindi pala yan. That is not God what what wants, no? Kaya, uh, kasi kinakailan pag truth, very universal siya, no? So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa may hawak akong, if, if say, let's say, no? May hawak akong stocks. Iisipin ko nang iisipin ko yan, mag-50% sa lunes, mag-50% sa Tuesday, mag-50% sa Wednesday. No? Eventually, al alam naman natin yung nangyari. That, that is not how the market works. Right? And that will never be. No? And it cannot be happen. No? Tao tayo, no? All power comes from the Almighty. And kung kinakailangan natin ng something, hihingi tayo sa Kanya. Hindi sa isip natin, hindi rin sa vision board. Right? Ang malupit nito... There are some, no? Especially mga mentors natin, mga guru. Lalo na yung mga... Madalas to sa mga ano eh. Uh, Multi-level marketing, no? Mga ganyang ideas, pinapasok nila. Right? So, I have to tell you, you have to be careful of that, no? In your attraction because that is a very, very, very dangerous idea. You are replacing God, no? So, yung, hindi mo na... Sa bagay, hindi kung meron ka mga kotse, mga pera, mga material na bagay, uh, you think magdadasal ka pa ba? Definitely, baka makalimutan mo pa or totally, no, maniglip mo and uh, that is not what God wants for us, right? So, I have to understand that uh, kung may kailangan tayo or something we need, uh, we have to ask God and isa pa na pinopromote niyan, puro materialism na eh, halos, you know? Kotse, bagong bahay, bagong kotse, iPhone X, ano pa ba mga uso ngayon? So, you, you will come up with 
every other no marami maraming uh, material bagay ka may iisip and walang katapusan yan no? that is to distract you no para hindi mo ma-realize what is the truth ano yung uh, sinasabi ng Diyos all right so i have to tell you again read your bible because that will be your defense no against dito sa mga deception na to we could i could talk all day long telling you kung ano pa yung mga discover ko but uh, i think we have to this uh segment natin no paunti-unti and hopefully you're learning something sa aking mga sinasabi and uh hoping na one of you no probably mas marami pa ang nagbabasa na ng bible because there are so many many things na nakakapag-deceive and distract us no especially ng atong market no pag may sado kang uh if you're not looking at the bigger picture of life pwede ka rin na ma-deceive dito right and dito mo na mai-focus lahat ng energy mo so again this is only a reminder no to all of you guys who are uh what listening no, to me no especially and I hope I was able to rattle you, no? And sana meron kang discomfort na nararamdaman ngayon after knowing na this is not uh, what God intended for us, no? And hoping, no? Na talaga, kumbaga sa ano, is ma-discourage kayo, no? And if you are practicing, or if you know someone who is practicing, please tell him to you. Tell them, no? Kung ano yung inyong nalaman na yun through this channel. Right, guys? And with that, I hope na you're very careful sa mga pinafollow nyo because minsan, yung mga nagtuturo niyan, hindi rin nila alam na nadideceive sila. Alright? So, kaya nga, mas maganda you have to read your Bible because meron kang reference point kung ano yung uh, tama, ano yung mali. No? I hope you're learning something. No? And with that, let's now move on sa ating review, right? We have yung ating PSEI who has gained 81 points, no? We're closing at 8,144. This is for the third straight week, no? Na 8,000 level, no? You hold and mapapansin nyo yung basket of stocks that we have is lumalaki. Alright? If you have been viewing our channel uh, last year pa, no? yung ating uh, radar dito usually 3 to 4 max lang yung pumapasok but look at it now no ilan 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 no so 9 out of the 30 index names pumasok na sa radar ko ibig sabihin uh, malalakas na siya no i consider them strong already and maganda maganda siyang uh, uh, pasukin ng market because mararamdaman mo and may nagbago na there's something in the market that has changed kaya lumalakas na no all right we all know na yung i uh, i think JFC RLC and F gen no 2018 pa yan we also have yung SMC but bumaba siya no on the latter part of uh, 2018 bumaba but ngayon tumaas na naman siya 20, 2019 no but this is good news we have yung ALI ICT SM SMC uh, RHI and URC mga bagong salta sila na lumakas no ibig sabihin bago no so again from 3 to 4 stocks ngayon nasa 9 stocks na so that tells you something All right if you are a newbie hindi mo ma-discern yan or wala kang you will not be able to 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 observe that so i'm telling you ito use this uh, channel use this as a reference point kasi ano malaking bagay ito no when when you analyze this market on a bigger, bigger picture, this is a big, big uh, edge, no? And you just imagine, no? If you enter 2017, there's a likelihood that you'll end up in a profit. And if you enter 2018, lalo't pagbaguhan ka, ang laki ng chance that you will be uh, massacred, no? Sabihin, sunog na sunog yung portfolio mo, di ba? Alright, again, uh, these are observations and these are my analysis. Again, nothing is 100% sa sasabihin ko. Alright? You have to do your work. You have to do your, ano, your, your part, no? Sa ating, uh, sa market, sa pag-study, especially in the entries and exit. And, guys, there's nothing 100% sa market, alright? These are probabilities and pinapalaki lang natin yung edge natin. 
right let's now move on so again looking at the the charts of the PSEI uh, last week if uh, you've been following me no ang sabi ko we have to at least take yung 7 8 but hindi ganun yung nangyari again tight consolidation and now nagpop na siya sa 8000 level and we're closing it no closing in at 8144 points that is good all right so mas maganda nga yung hindi na halos nagpo pullback and dire diretso and i'm really really biased no that we are going to approach itong 8000 400 level no at the very least no 8400 levels for the next 2 to 3 months no if not mas maganda pa nga makuha na natin ngayon siyang February pa lang all right and uh, that is the big big picture of our market something has definitely changed and we are seeing the basket of stocks no especially mga blue chips dumadami no from the usual 3 to 4 na yon nasa 9 stocks na yung malalakas or yung tinatawag na yung pumapasok na sa radar ko. Alright? So, again, our move of the week was with green. Uh, later on, I'll, I'll, I'll put my uh, inputs here sa green. And for this week, we have yung move of the week at yung green. No? 33%. Alright. Uh, for our sentiment, we have a rating of uh, 7 no bulls bull mode no all right so ibig sabihin noon we're being more aggressive and we're definitely seeing more breakouts no and especially ngayon i think for the last uh, 2 weeks the market has been driven mainly by news no especially yung mga blue chip stocks we have yung PHA we have yung green all right uh especially tong green no this week lang to pumutok PHA, malakas-lakas pa rin talaga. And pal, I think this is correcting uh, hard, no? And hoping na uh, you're able to take profit na rin dito. And X, no? Surpass. And I think this is this is a healthy sign, no? That the market is reacting to passive development, no? Because as we all know, no 2018, especially in the latter part, marami rin naman yung positive news, but hindi nagre-react yung market, no? But this time, they are reacting to all the news, no? But uh, for the winners nung 2018, one of the two winners nung 2018, we have yung ISM and IRC. I think medyo hirap, no? medyo mabigat. No? Even though naka-break sila sa kanilang range, uh, we have ISM, I think it's going to retest yung support and yung IRC. No? Retest up support then to sakasakali. Eh, medyo mabigat, no? may kabigatan nga lang. And they're still good, no? And uh, let's try to check and see kung ano yung magiging reaction nila nitong dalawa na to, no? So, rating natin is 7. Bull mode, no? So, talaga, kung baga sa ano, we're going to play it aggressive sa market. And we are really, really uh, trying to catch, no? Yung uh, itong early pace. I think this is, I think we're early. Uh, and as we move on, no? Sa 8-4, especially kung... kung eventually we're going to hit yung 8.4 uh, mas magiging maganda yung market mas madali din i-trade yung market pagka ganun no? and let's now move on no? on our watch list no? I think this is the first time no? for the last I, I think uh, since uh, July yung in-start ko to or August ba hindi ko pa uh, napunta to sa aking core watch list yung AI Live but finally no? these are the heavy hitters and for me, no, at least for the for this week, uh, hindi mo na ako papasok. I just want to see etong tail end nito so sa 4450, no. At the minimum para at least may consider ko siya sa aking uh, no, sa aking watch list. I think we're going to zoom eto yung yung tail niya, yung mga buntot niya. Gusto kong sumampa siya dito, no. Sa 4450 area, yung tight range na yan. And let's see kung magpapahinga siya, no. Although the volume is picking up, uh, yun muna, no. Medyo mat malaki kasi yung range niya, eh. No. So, if you want a safer approach, at least bumili ka dun. But ang problema kasi dun, hindi natin alam, no. If, uh, kung kailan siya tatakbo. Kasi it might consolidate for another month, na puro ganun lang. And 
para siya maging very very bullish para sa akin at least yung lower end of the range should be at least no sa 44.50 no tong area na to no yan 44.95 pa nga yung area na yan uh, let's watch muna no sa ating kung ano yung mangyayari sa kanya no again that that is our take for ALI I think this is the first time no since I started this channel na pumasok itong Ayala lang sa aking watch list no that is good no that is a good good kasi these are the heavy weighters Right, let's move on sa ating isa pa, no? One of, again, no? One of the heavy heaters sa ating market, itong SMPH, no? We all know. Itong SMPH and its capability. And alam nyo naman na pag ito na yung nag-relead ng bull market or ng run, uh, medyo sustainable yan, no? And as we all know, SMPH or yung Prime Holdings, uh, right now, no? It's in a striking range. Ibig sabihin you could already start accumulating no especially if mabisita niya tong area na to no lower end of the box i think mag-iipon muna ng lakas diyan you might see this consolidate for another 2 to 3 weeks no bago siya tumakbo no but right now uh it has alarm no and uh pumasok siya sa radar natin again SMPH i uh, think this is a triple top pa nga no at medyo lumapas na siya rito. I think ito yung striking range natin. And you could already start. No? Again, if ALI and SMPH would lead the run, this is a very sustainable run. No? That's for sure. Kasi these are the heavy hitters. No? Malaki yung portion nila sa index. At pag itong dalawa yung mga humihila, uh, malalakas talaga yan. No? Like in 2018, ang humihila, SMC. JFC, medyo hindi, hindi ganun kalakas. No? But, but, but as we see, and as we makikita natin na pag ito yung dalawa yung humila, malakas talaga ito. No? And uh, don't, mistake, don't make no mistake about it. No? Kapag blue chips, there are times na sila yung malalakas. They could even move uh, 5, 7%. No? Minsan, umabot pa yan ng katulad ng ginawa ng SMC. Double digit run. But you just have to time, time it. No? And... Uh, don't be discouraged, no? If you are still able to, hindi mo pa masyadong nahihit yung timing. Uh, just stick to your game. Uh, darating at darating din yan, no? Right? So, next on our watch list, FDC, if if you were able to catch this, no? Dito, dito pa lang yan. Um, Nag-alarm na sa atin yan, eh, dito sa area na to. And it's consolidated, another pop. And I told you guys to at least to consider it selling end of January and we are all already end of January na no and I don't think this is already finished no baka meron pa tong itakbo and from what we see uh, medyo kulang no kulang yung uh, buying volume dito and medyo nag detach nga siya rito I think for you it, it might wise to at least no abangan ulit siya kasi tatalbog yung pabalik ganun sa 12.20, 11.80 no Tulad din ang sinabi natin last week for FDC. This is one of the few stocks na, na sinabi ko. This is uh, inhibiting, uh, exhibiting yung ating uh, can slim no? uh, filter and maganda tong FDC. No? Again, uh, fundamentally, there's a project na uh, maganda rito no? na pumasok sa FDC. And yun nga, you just have to at least... no. I, I do not think na magtutuloy ulit ito dito. Eh. I think this would be a, a retest, no? 12.20 and 11.80 for FDC, no? Before we consider it to to buy, no? Again, uh, tamang-tama, no? Lahat ng sinabi natin sa FDC end of January would be uh, panahon niya, no? Para ma malaman kung tatakbo ulit siya. And ganun yung nangyayari, no? Yun nga lang kulang yung, yung buying volume or yung buying pressure for it to, to run up really, really I know. Again, wait for the retest at least 12, 12, 20. Magandang area na yan. And again, court, quarterly income na lang inaantay din ito and we might want to see how it would react to that. No? Again, Phil Invest Development Corporation put this on your watch list. No? Right, next on our watch list is SLI. I think it's early part, no? Pagbukas ng taon and 
eto agad yung isa sa mga humarurot no mapapansin niyo to tong Santa Lucia or SLI but no we all know na ang buyers is around this area or yung institution natin which is 120 yung 600 i think if i remember it right 650 million shares no big sabihin pag doon ka banda na pabili kasama mo yung mga institution so okay lang yun kasi hindi yung magbebenta ng ano basta-basta because we all know i-liquid nga itong stocks na to and that is one of the caveat dito no, sa SLI. Yun lang problema ko sa SLI. No? We have the good story, we have good price action. But yung uh, problema ko rito is yung liquid. No? Definitely, if you are going to enter itong SLI, magaan lang. No? Huwag mo namang gawing 50% ng portfolio mo or 30% medyo mabigat. No? At least, yung magaan-gaan lang na portion para at least hindi ka problemado no because uh, I think ano eh binibili nung mga buyers sa ano eh sa at least 20 you know 20 moving average yung bilihan nila you no know? and again we're going to see again consolidation no? dito sa area na to but it's already confirmed halos hindi niya na rin narita yung 130 for the last uh, I think 2 to 3 weeks no And again, ang maganda kasi dito sa SLI, coming out of the bear market, especially January, nagpop siya, no? That is something na you have to consider, no? Hindi ito basta-basta na. And if you're going to see, itong price na itong 142 na to, last time that we are able to see this, nasa, I think, uh, 2011 pa, eh, no? Pa something na gano'n, no? Or if you're going to see 2013, no? And ngayon, 2019 na, for almost 6 years na siyang uptrend. No? Big, big picture uptrend. And I think uh, with the index is reacting, and especially we are seeing no, na yung properties is on the rise, you might want to consider itong SLI. No? That's a good story, good price action. And yung liquidity lang talaga ang pinakamagiging problema mo rito. Kasi medyo illiquid to, no But... Uh, Ganun naman, no? Before before the start of ano talagang big action, yung uh, liquidity would definitely be the problem. No? Lahat naman, halos ganun nag-uumpisa. Right. Next on our watch list is green. Alright. I think one of the rear bull, bull plugs, no? Nagwawagay-wagay-wagay dito and finally, nag-pop dito yung because of the news. No? good development sa company and pumitik no pumitik halos nag 340 almost no almost 340 but right now uh I to tell you honestly uh hindi ko na na timing yan to because lahat halos nagulat no although nasa watch list ko na rin siya or nasa radar ko na rin siya because of this bull plug sobrang dami din kasi no yung naglabasan especially i think for the last two, two last month or last two months no maraming news driven stocks na talaga ano and hindi ko talaga din to nahuli no itong uh, breakout na to and wala nga formation eh no usually kasi gigagalaw kasi ng ano yan eh ng certain movement muna yan eh bago yan mag breakout eh but bisabihin wala nakakaalam everybody was surprised and everybody bot no when the news came out so again how do we attack this at least no right now don't buy we just want to see this support o oh, mag uh, mag create ng support and kung dito siya mag uh, mag consolidate no kung dito man lang din dito sa 280 area I think that's good or at least dito no dito sa area na to and uh, 230 no ibig sabihin malaki yung net natin no but uh, if by monday ba or tuesday bumaba siya sa 230 bibili ka na ba definitely not no and maganda at least kung kung dito siya magko-consolidate sa 280 at least yung candle or yung volatility bumaba pa and then we could definitely say na yun yung support no for the meantime or dito sa area na to, tong green na to. Ang, ang mahirap kasi dito, once it has gone volatile, all, lahat na yung nakakapansin, 
mahirap na i-predict eh, no? or i-anticipate kung saan mapupunta yung presyo. No? But, kaya ako naman siya inilagay sa ating watchlist ngayon because when the news came out, usually sell on news, but this one, nung pag-announce, uh, no? there is a good uh, development dito sa green. Lahat nagbilihan. No? So, so, ibig sabihin, uh, lahat nagulat. And this is a sign na uh, there's something, no? There's something else and it could definitely uh, pwede pang mag, uh, magdire-diretsyo. No? So, th- that's how you play on the news. Kapag uh, lumabas yung news, nagbentahan, ibig sabihin they already anticipated. Right? Hindi mo mababasa to sa libro sa kaya you have to take, uh, take note of this, no? But, if, ano naman, if lumabas yung news and then nag-spike ng ganito kalaki, you have to put your that stock on your watch list, no? And plan your entries. But sa ngayon, we have just to observe and let's try to see if it will establish yung support, no? For green. Again, uh, who are the movers, especially yung ninja dyan pa rin yung JFC, MEG, RWM, Wilcon, and lumalaki, no? Lumalaki yung ating watch list and yung core watch list natin. And that is good for our market. And again, uh, medyo mahaba and I hope you are able to get something out of this you might want to hit that like button or share no? and maraming maraming salamat sa panonood DCS, PES, EI recap, maraming maraming salamat